Hello people, this is Engineer Summers. In our world today, blockchain has been providing solutions to the real world experience, real world situations. And Wax Blockchain understand how adoption, how important adopting a blockchain or a solution is. Therefore, they constantly look into an existing solution and see how they can upgrade and embrace more and bring more into the ecosystem. In February 20, in February 2023, Wax Blockchain released World Wallet Update. I'm going to be running you through the old version and the new version and you can drop your feedback on what you feel uh, based on your experience what you feel need to be added features that are missing and what you as a user feel that require or need to be added to the dashboard also we are also going to be looking at marketplace BIRL marketplace and we're going to look at it holistically and see what are the things that I also need to be added into that marketplace. Before then, let's look at the announcement that was released and the features that come along with the new wallet. User experience is important and therefore simplify onboarding process is number one key factor of bringing more people into an ecosystem. Number two is the UI upgrade that gives a better experience, user experience. And also we see the NFT token bridge that come along with the wallet. And in there, we have two blockchain bridging to wax which is ethereum and finance smart chain all right without wasting much of our time let's look at the two wallet the old version and the new version now i'm going to be showing you my the old version wallet this is, this is the old version wallet a login login UI and then uh, page login page so you have multiple ways of entering or registering your wallet you can use your gmail you can use your uh, discord your twitter and uh, any of your social media and the, that is compatible with the wallet can be so i'm using my gmail to access the wallet right so i'm logging in to my gmail account okay i have my gmail account here it is important also to uh, secure your wallet you know the wallet is cloud-based wallet so it's good for you to also uh, secure your wallet so i'm going to be ending i'm going to be accessing my wallet by my Google authentication. So I have the code, connecting the code, the one time code. So I am logging into the old version of the wallet. I can just can see I can do the So let's see. So this is the old version. This is the old version of wallet. And you can see the announcement sponsors. Sorry. So we have the different advert, paid or paid promotional advert. Then we can see your portfolio, what you have in your portfolio at the left, upper left hand side here. And you are sitting down and looking at your dashboard. Then you can see your dabs, see dabs here, see dabs. So I click on the dabs, that is why you should call. So you can see your staking rewards here, 
post flashing if I click here to see I can see the full activity so I click I scroll down it's supposed to be a dog I'm scrolling down from my using my the um the, uh, the cursor on my laptop okay so my Okay. So that is an is an edit for me. Alright. Then um I can see my NFT here, which is my inventory is uh dashboard. Sorry, dabs, taking rewards, news, news. Now from here now I'm on maybe to you can see my uh it is the token bridge. It is only on um, Ethereum. Supported by Ethereum. So now, see now, I can click on the NFT bridge because if I click it, I'm going to be clicking on the terms of service instead of the bridge. So I can access this bridge here by this my laptop. So it's an edit for me. Now, now, now look at the new version that was released. Don't forget, on your dashboard, you already have the website. It's very, very important. It's very important. Don't go and access one that is not the cloud wallet. So you click on it and leave it to the first page, which is this, to create an account or login. So you can log in to your, to your media account. Don't forget. So I'm accessing it through my Gmail again. So I'm here now. So you can see the experience. Look at here. I have my dashboard. This is the promotional asset. This is my portfolio. And only on my dashboard, I can have, I can see my portfolio. I can see the assets in my portfolio, which is not here. You can see the dashboard. Now you can see that I will need to now be trying to show going like this. I give you me. So but here I can see through scroll down here. You can see I can see trading gaps. I can see hot NFTs. I can see the news only on the dashboard. Then, right here, we can access our, our NFT to look at our inventory. What we have, our NFT warrants. Let's see too. And good thing about this is you can see atomic asset, all conventions, imports, and the rest. Yes, it's on the old one and two. Old one and two. Graphs. Now, here. Dabs, you see the trending dabs, and again, you can see the new release dabs. Interesting, right? Interesting, interesting. And again, I can see sticking rewards. My sticking rewards, and also scroll down again. I can see the NFT bridge. NFT bridge that has to do with can bridge from Ethereum and Binance, unlike this that comes with just Ethereum. Nice upgrade. Then also the token bridge. The token bridge. Now I can see my token bridge now. See interesting. Access. No restock. So the settings. Do my settings. Again, one more important thing is your dark mode can be changed to the light. So, guys, this is just for um, this is the new upgrade wallet that we have. And again, don't forget that I'm also stop said I'm going to just run through the market to the IRL uh, marketplace. So let's quickly look at that. You can see the world the uh, marketplace. The most popular collections on WAX, the top collections on EIRL last 24 hours, and then 
start your own NLP connections box. I can log in to my Mao wallet. Wallet. In. So, looking at all these the dashboard on the market place, this said, this said, this said, and FTPs, the rest like that. So, um, I would love you guys to now set you down and give your comment based on what you feel need to be added to a cloud wallet that is not yet there for more user experience based on your experience and let's have them documented and then we will share it with the team thank you